What's up, you guys? It's Jazz Niece Mariah with Why Hip Hop. And on today's episode of I Cannot Make This sh- Up, you guys, I think there may have been aliens. Yes, you heard me. A real alien sighting at the Miami Mall. So let's talk about what we know. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, Go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel so you can get more updates on videos like this. Of course, I don't only talk about aliens on this channel, but because I'm a person that thinks about a million bajillion different things, I wanted to share that with my audience as well, whatever could come up, whatever type of news is floating around, just so we can all be on point, right? Okay, so again, like comment subscribe share this video whatever you need to do but do you guys think that there were aliens in the mall in miami i'm gonna read you something from someone that actually had a first hand account but look at this look at this really quickly Now, here's my thing, and I'm going to keep it a bean in the butt with y'all. At the end of the day, I feel like they have been lying to us for eons about the presence of aliens right here next to us. If y'all know for my people, you know my people. If y'all know, we already believe in, in shapeshifters, spiritual things, which again, on this channel, I'll do my best to get into different beliefs that different black people may have about different things like this, because I love talking about extraterrestrial things. I love talking about like spooky things like ghost stories, um, mermaids, you name it. So at the end of the day, when this story came up, I was like, um, it sounds a little too good to be true in a sense. So, um, at the end of the day, you see this video, this video, they're at the mall. Uh, the police are literally lined up at the mall like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and read you, um, what what has been floating around Twitter basically now one of the news outlets reported um they said they there are now verified reports that it was a fight between a group of teenagers involving firecrackers additionally the event took place on January 1st of 2024 so this was not something that just took place yesterday but they were basically saying that all of those police are lined up there ready to perform, ready to excrete years of training because teenagers were um, tussling in there and setting off firecrackers. So basically, they I guess they're trying to say like they thought it was like a, you know, uh, uh, you know, a, 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 a pun shot, <laughs> if you must. But I just, I, it's something that's not sitting right with me, you guys, because again, I've read different stories and I'm actually going to do this story on my channel. Y'all remind me to do this story if I haven't done it in like a week, but there was another story out in Brazil, right? And there was these people or there were these people that basically saw this man that had been deceased you know he was laying in like a field but the way he was looking he had like holes drilled in his chest if i'm not mistaken i have to go read the story again and i like i said i'll do the story on this channel but y'all like the man just had injuries that were not consistent with like a human doing anything to him and it was like you know okay i'm not saying that a human can't put a hole in your chest or like two holes surgically looking holes that are like uh you know spaced out perfectly like I feel like when humans do stuff you'll see error and not only that we would probably still be there or around the area like the the ability to just either drop this man off here or like you know do this to this man from above and then leave it was just screaming that it was some type of other life form that had gotten to this man y'all and these people like literally went 
home because the police told them to get out of the area after they called the police to report this. They went home looking for it on the news like that night and the next day. And y'all, it had vanished. Like the man wasn't there anymore. And they never came out with a news story about what happened to this man. So again, it's something that's like known in that Brazilian area for the people that like live over there. It's like, I guess a myth or like a story that's continued through the years. But I will say, I feel like our governments are great at covering up. Like they may have all come to this one truce like hey, we are not going to tell our people about other life forms visiting us or coming and having to stay here or getting trapped here because at the end of the day, it may scare them. So yeah, I'm definitely like feeling like this is one of those situations. Look again, like look at how many people, how many policemen are stacked up outside this mall. What Teenage kids, y'all, for real. You mean to tell me they bought out everybody in the force for teenagers with firecrackers? Like, let's be for real. So, um, it, it was someone that was actually, they said they was at the mall. They said they were at the mall. It was Moab 2597 on X, right? And he says, I was at the mall, Miami. I was at the Miami mall yesterday and the government is lying. There were no kids fighting. Everyone started panicking because these gray creatures were walking around. They didn't make any noises or sounds, but stared and watched you move. I tried to take a video, but every time I would try to, it would just bug out. They set a perimeter and wouldn't let anyone out or in unless they went through their photos. We were visited by aliens and the government is covering it up. They were about six to seven feet tall and walked very slowly. They could turn their head around completely and it seemed like they would change forms or they could change forms. Like they didn't have any bones and could bend their body in whatever way. No fingers or feet, just arms and legs. They could also seemingly teleport. They weren't walking around normally, but instead disappearing and then quickly reappearing somewhere else. This allowed them to walk through some of the glass displays in the mall and through walls. You couldn't escape if they wanted to kill. Now, they didn't seem aggressive, nor did they seem like they wanted to anybody. It almost seemed like they were lost, but they also weren't scared of the army of police that was all around. They must have felt like they were far superior. So, again, that seems to be an account from someone that was at the Miami Mall. Because you got to remember that this is a public place. It's very seldom that you're going to have this go on and nobody steps out and comes and says the truth. But what I'm really, like, stuck on, because, remember, the reports came out and they're like, yeah, you guys, it was a group of teens fighting and they had firecrackers in the mall. My real gag is, why, if that was the case, and, and this is this is really my only concern. If it was the case that there had been a disruption because teams were fighting and that there was something that was popped off in the mall, why would they check their phones? Why would they have a perimeter set up to make sure that nobody could get in with pictures or come out with pictures, whatever the case was? Why would that be pertinent for witnessing like a little tussle? That just doesn't make sense to me. So again, do you guys think that this person is telling the truth on what he saw? Or do you think he's just boom, boom, like he's just, you know, going through it? I definitely think there is a lot of truth to what he's saying. Not only does it scare me because I feel like they don't give us the chance to get prepared for alien presence if it were here. Like, tell us. But I also think they think we would freak out so badly fight the aliens, and then the aliens would be whooping our butts and we wouldn't know what to do. So maybe, I I don't know you guys, but do you think that this guy Moab 2597 from Twitter or from X, do you think he's telling the truth on what he saw? I think he is because it would explain nobody having picture or video evidence like we all were saying, like all these camera phones and nobody has anything. Only thing that can stop that is authority, like police authority. If they set up that perimeter and say nobody can get out here with that. And it's even more pertinent to understand that if the police told you not to record or told you you couldn't have that video, they probably told you not to say anything either about what you just witnessed. Or they did that little 
flashy thing off of Men in Black, and this one kid had his eyes covered. I, I don't know, you guys. Stay tuned, keep it locked, and keep it loaded for more videos like this. But again, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, like this video, and share it with your friends who may think aliens are real, real as well. Again, it's been Jazz Mariah, you guys. Happy New Year, and thank you for tapping in.